It's prescription drug advice as old as the drug itself. Take the full course of antibiotics. Yeah, always, if, if you don't, you're in trouble. I remember them saying you have to take the whole thing, even if you're feeling better. Typically, they say you should do the whole course for the entire week and not stop. But a top British medical journal has declared that medical orthodoxy has had its day. It's really got in, embedded in everybody's psyche, and people all think it's true. And it turns out there's been no further research on this properly ever since Alexander Fleming made his comment. That comment came from the father of antibiotics, Alexander Fleming. He warned cutting the course of treatment short would lead to antibiotic resistance, a warning that persists at Health Canada and the World Health Organization. But the world's top health body quietly changed its advice this month, now saying shorter treatments may reduce the speed by which the pathogen develops resistance. Still, has the antibiotic course really had its day? It's a headline. Uh, I don't think the antibiotic course has had its day. I think the antibiotic course over time is getting shorter and shorter, and that's a good thing. This infectious disease specialist says it's not so black and white. He advises doctors on how to limit overprescribing, but he says it shouldn't be left up to the patient. One of the challenges is that many physicians aren't aware of the most up-to-date evidence where shorter durations are as um, efficacious as the longer durations. Even the authors of the paper acknowledge it's going to be hard to change the conventional thinking surrounding antibiotics without clear evidence-based guidelines on the minimum course needed. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.